enjoy the glitch template that I've recently made for you. In this quick video I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can customise the template to add your own logo, text or footage and I'm also going to show you a few controls to customise it even further. So let's go ahead, open After Effects and get started. So here we are inside of After Effects and the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is open up the glitch template. So we'll go to File, Open Project and we're just going to open up the glitch template. Now there will be an error message as you can see here, After Effects warning, one file is missing since the last saved this project. Now to do that and fix this is really easy, so we'll just hit OK and so far you'll see nothing. And all you need to do is come to the Assets folder over here in the Project tab, we'll drop that down and this is the footage that's missing. Now included in the downloaded file with the glitch template is some stock footage and you just need to right click on this layer here, go to replace footage with a file and inside of that folder will be the glitch footage which you just need to double click on. And we'll go ahead and find it here, which and here it is, so we'll just find it, click on it and open it up and then that's just going to sort everything out to be completely fine. So let's go ahead and start customising, let's go ahead and import our logo. So we'll go to File, Import, File, and for this demonstration I'm just going to go ahead and use my logo, go ahead and open that up there, and you'll see that we have two compositions down here, the one is Render This, and the other is Logo Here, and if we just also go up here to the Logo Here composition, this will open up this new frame here, and we just need to drag and drop our logo here, and we'll hit S on the keyboard and we're just going to scale it down to fit nicely. And we're also just going to brighten it up, so we'll add a fill. Just brighten it up like that. And then you go back to the render this composition, and you're going to see when we do a RAM preview, it's all going to render out completely fine, as easy as that. And you'll see here, this is our final composition. You've got some nice glitchy and distortion effects going on. Some RGB split transitions in, and it also transitions out, as easy as that. But let's go back to the logo here composition and we can do some text. So we'll grab the text tool and we'll just type something out. And we'll also turn on the title save just to get it right in the center. Like so. And again, go back to the render this composition and you're going to see it's going to update automatically as easy as that. But finally, we can also go back here and we can also do some stock footage. So. I'm just going to file and then import some and I just have some motocross stock footage if we go ahead and find this and again we'll drag and drop it into the logo here composition I'm also just going to scale it up to fit and we'll find a good place for it and again go back to the render this composition and you'll see it updates automatically with all the glitchy effects, just like that. Now finally you'll see we have a controls layer here, and if we select this layer, go to effect controls at the top, we have a slider control for the RGB. Now you'll see that that occurs every now and again through this composition. If we select this layer and hit U, you're going to see that I've already set some default keyframes which you don't have to play around with, but just if you wanted to, you can uncheck the stopwatch, and you can also make your own keyframes as you wish. So let's go ahead and make an exaggerated one. We'll increase it. We'll hit the stopwatch up here. We'll go forward, put it down to zero. And again, we'll maybe do some around here. So we'll set a keyframe. Scroll forward, we'll increase it up. Scroll forward again, and then decrease it back down to zero. And if you see when we RAM preview here, you're going to see that it comes on and off just like that. But like I said, you can leave the default keyframes in that I've already left out there. So that is all ready to go. Now the last thing you need to do is go ahead and render it out. So make sure you're in the render this composition. We'll go to the top at composition, add to render queue. And that's just going to add it to the render queue here. And for the render settings, we're going to set it to best settings, output module. I like to choose a quick time format with a H2.64 codec. So I'll show you how to do this. So I'll go to Format, QuickTime, Format Options, and for the video codec, just go ahead and choose H2.64, and we'll hit OK. And once that's done, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And finally, for the output module, we'll go ahead and select this, and this is where you can save your footage. So as you can see, we we'll just save it here. Call it Glitch Template, and hit Save. 
Finally, just go ahead and click render and that's going to render it out completely and you will have your new glitchy distortion effect video. So I hope you enjoy this glitchy template that I've made for you. I hope the video helps. Be sure to like the video and leave a comment on what you think. And be sure to request more tutorials and stuff and have a look at my Facebook page, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I hope this helps. Enjoy the template and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.